So what we're trying to do is a reverse raw edge applique, so to speak. We are leaving the background fabric, which is white, to be our snowman applique, rather than cut him out of white and put him over the buttons, the blue button dots, because it would show through. So, that's this background stage, first stage. We have our door already drawn, and we just have to line up the background with our tracing. Just making sure that everything is lined up before we press. And it is. I think you could press. Next, we're adding his scarf. Once you have it in place, of course, press it down according to the manufacturer's recommended instructions. Next, we're going to start with the yellow cup first and fuse it down partially at the bottom only. That way we'll be able to feed the stick through the cup handle and put that in place as well. Then we're going to do likewise with the green cup, fuse partially until we can thread the stick arm through the cup handle. Now we're just going to thread his fingers through the cup handles with some tweezers. And get them loosely in place using the door to refine. And get accurate placement. Now we're just going to partially fuse his stick arms because we want to trim a tiny bit off and we don't want it to move before we do that. Okay, now that we have it trimmed, we're just going to fuse the rest of it down. and start the same process on the other side of his other arm. Okay, we have our two other cups placed and we are going to partially fuse to secure them in place. Now we are placing our other three cups, nudging with the tweezers, and we're going to partially fuse just as we did on the other side. Once you line up the left arm, we are going to just fuse the base and again hoping that each finger will thread through the cup handle and the 
looks like they're going to. So, last item we're adding, and we did already add the button shadows. As you can see there. And using the door to accurately place his nose. We have our snowman. And later you will add his face details and you can add a, a piece of fabric for his cheek if you like. Um, but the eyes and detail would be stitched. So here is our first snowman. Fusing is complete. And we will move on to next one so keep watching okay as you remember our last snowman video is this little guy and we're getting ready to set up for the second one and that is the balancing teacup girl we have all our parts already fused to the fabric and laid out. And now we're gonna go through the process of fusing. We are doing the background like a reverse fused applique. As you can see, we're leaving the snowman as the white background. And we are using Riley Blake baby button dots in light blue. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is just lining up the fabrics, centering the sky on the white background, using the door, making sure that our parts will fit before fusing. So we're just about ready to fuse the background button dots. And we're going to want to take the full recommended time of the manufacturer's suggested pressing time. Now, if you're using a directional fabric as we are for her dress, you will want to match it as closely as you can with the directional lines that we transferred from the pattern onto our door. So now we're going to fuse the dress applique. And we happen to use the candy stripe from Snow Sweet Collection, also Riley Blake Designs. Next, we're placing the coat applique. And that is our ultramarine blue watercolor swirl from Riley Blake Designs. So now we have her coat in place, both sides and fused. And we are considering the gingham, also from Snow Sweet to be the inside of her sleeves before we put the arms on.
adding tiny details are optional. I just like, I like them because it just adds that much more to the overall applique shape. So as you can see, we did add the gingham to the inside of the sleeves. And we used our directional lines to attempt to get the applique, any applique straight. Um, going the same direction as the stripes. Now we're going to partially fuse the arms because we are going to have some X excess length on the stick arms. Our last cup is the red in place using our door. Very cute. And that's going to be it for this one until we stitch. So here are our two snowmen applique. Thanks for watching, and we will move on to number three. Okay, we're back with our snowman parade trio. And we're getting set up for the third snowman, all parts. And you might notice a lot of tiny, teeny parts, which are stripes on his scarf optional. If you have a fabric that you like better, by all means, you would use that. So the first thing we are doing is, again, laying down the blue button dot background as a large applique. So that we can leave the snowman portion as the white background fabric like the other two we did previous. So as you can see, we have already moved along some of the steps on our third snowman. I wanted to point out that we did use a swirl fabric for his scarf and mitten that will go under these many, many dark blue stripes. Again, that's optional. We wanted um, to make bold stripes on his scarf. So that's what we did. Everything else is the very same. As, the, as in the previous two videos. We're just going to do the teapot and creamer next. Using the door for accurate placement. The tracing paper door. Which, if you visit our blog, greatjoystudio.com, we will have um, some links to this tracing paper door technique 
if you're interested. Just wanted to also point out too that we have the, tr the um, teapot and the creamer just sitting on top of the tray. We did not place it under the tray like you normally would do a typical fused applique. Um, we wanted it to sit on top and so that's how we placed it. And once it's stitched, I think it'll work out fine. So we're just going to lay a few of these stripes out to give you an idea of how this is going to look. Again, most people may not want to go to these painstaking trouble for a look, but we do. If you do decide to do this though, you must number every um, stripe on the fusible paper product. And that, that will be marked on the pattern. 